got some mail today. We better go get her. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. I got some mail in today, and it's at work, so I gotta go to work to get it, but I'm hoping it's the parts I need for my weed whacker. My weed whacker primer ball thingamabobber's all decked over, so I can't prime it. And there's a little gasket thingy that goes on the gas tank where the two hoses run in. It's all broken and cocked over. My leaf blower and my weed whacker both take the same stuff. Holy fuck, I'm gonna get back to work so I can lose some weight. My God, I'm getting fat. This is not good. My belt's just jamming into my guts. Frig, does any of you have that problem? Leave your comments down below if you do. Let me know if you got a gut jamming belt buckle. Cause it freaking hurts. Oh, dick. Oh, dick. I thought I had a head on me. Head times two. Somebody's getting a big deck put in. Holy, four grand in lumber. If not more, probably like five grand in lumber. Oh, oh frig. Carol! So my daughter stayed at her friend's house last night for the first time ever, which just blows me away. I was hoping she'd stay at grandma's for the first time, but hey, as long as she stays somewhere, now maybe she'll feel more comfortable staying at grandma's. Can you go any faster, bud? But hey, at least the sun's out today, as you can see. How you doing? But it's still cool out. It's like 43 out. It's Fahrenheit for all you Americans. Hurry up, Grandpa. Get going. She's needy. Jim. Oh, God. I guess the Chevy Silver is going to have to pass this guy already. Oh, careful. Freak, she wants to go, Captain. Look at us go. Oh, dick. You took out, Grandpa. Bring her if you did. You can read Life with Bilsif on the back now. Frick, now I'm going to have to slow down and drive like a normal person. Advertisement all over the back window. I got one thing I need for my weed whacker. The other one thing I'm still waiting for. Figures, it can never all come at the same freaking time. But at least I got the important spark first. I got the ball. The ball that's leaking so I can change it and then the ball won't leak and then I just gotta wait for the gasket thing of a bobber gas tank o-ring fuel line doodad thing. But I also got in uh, a couple of uh, selfie sticks for the GoPros. To be totally honest with you, it's a piece of shit. It doesn't open far enough so it could just fall over in the wind. What a waste of friggin' money that was. You knew I should have just called DJI or another one of these because this one here spreads way out and way flat and there's no chance of it blowing over. That one there, cocked. I did get my hat in though today. Check out this sun hat. Don't be jealous now because this thing's pretty wild. So it's like a regular hat kind of, but it's got a tail. So it protects your neck from the sun and you don't have a scoop that comes all the way around so you can't lean against your chair. So you think of that. Yeah, it's corny looking, but hey, listen. Or listen, hey, but yeah, hey, but listen. Hey, but listen, it's to protect you from the sun. Not to look good. I'm gonna take a ride down to uh, a buddy's place. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. You're not gonna wax your boat today, Sean. I'll tell you that right now. Gee, Deckard, you're Deckard. Captain? Oh, it's really going on. Listen to that thing. Everything's just rattling the way over here. Amazon Dispatch is here. Look at that. What happened? Oh, hey. Look at this operation of Amazon. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, dick. A lot of goodies there, boys. Look at all the goodies. Holy. That's crazy. What does that tell you about Amazon? They are friggin' killing it. My package is in there, because it's out for delivery right now. So one of them packages are the dirty old Bilsas. Can you believe it? So I would. I'm home now, but on the way home, there was this lawnmower sitting. Didn't look like there was much wrong with it, Jim. Looks like it's got one hell of an engine on it for the size of the deck. We even had the bag and just sitting there. I'm gonna power wash this thing up and see if we can't get it running. Yeah, it's somewhat cleaned up. I'm gonna pull off the old air breather here. And have a look-see. Just so you know, I did try to start it, if you're wondering. In case you're thinking, did he even try to start it? I don't know, I did. So we're gonna need a 10 mil by the looks of it. 10 mil in the chair, Captain. So we'll yank this off. So I wanna take a look at the carburetor. I'm thinking maybe the carburetor might have a little bit of a old gas situation. I'll tell you one thing, they don't make lawnmowers like they used to. Lawnmower don't run. Instead of going over for a few things, get rid of it and buy a new one. They smell fuel, it smells old. There, oh my gosh, look at that carburetor. That thing just looks absolutely cocked. What happened? So let's get that cleaned off. Try not to get too much water into the engine when you're doing that though, because you never want to get too much water inside that carburetor. So there we go, that looks better. Now we can actually see what's going on here. Gasket looks not too bad. 
But let's get the ball and screw out here and we'll drain the bowl. Make sure she hasn't got no sludge in her. As you can see, I forgot a spot there on the carburetor. So we'll pull this out. Oh, sorry about that. Frick. So it looks like that's flowing pretty good. The governor's spring seems to be working. Let's just try sticking the, the bolts back on. See if we can't get her running. We'll seal her up. We'll run her open. Open air. Now we'll check the spark plug too. Right here. So we'll yank that out. Careful. Check, see if you've got spark. You watch that for me. Hey, something happened. Got a full tank of gas here. So it's running out of fuel. You can tip her over here with some fuel, bring her back. I'm running out of fuel, jump. Let's try to vent the tank, see if that does it. Oh, okay. So we got a fuel delivery issue. So let's get this carburetor back off. You're gonna slow down here a little bit. It's starting to irritate the back. Okay, let's put the clamp on the bottom where nobody can reach it. Oh, it's broken now. So I guess put a new clamp on. So I flew this line off, take the spring off, slide the carb off. All right, that's off. So let's go up on the bench. We'll take a little look at this thing. It's got a lot of rust in it, I'll tell you that right now. Let's drain a little bit of fuel out of there. Oh boy, that's what's going on. We'll take the bowl off first, have a gander at her. Not too bad. Let's pull the needle and seat out, make sure it's clean. Blow this out. I'm almost gonna guess and say it was rust. That's just my opinion. So put the float back in. Cause it's not full of water, it's not full of fuel. So that's a good sign. We'll put the bowl back on. There we go. Now let's go put her back on and see what happens. I'm only 48 and I feel like I'm 70. Yeah, damn, what happened? I'm gonna put everything back together this time and we'll go from there. Because if it doesn't run right now, then I'm gonna take a break from it. We'll get her going. Are you ready for nothing? Cause I am. See if she restarts and then we'll check the oil. We got our jump. There you go, just call me dirty old small engine, the bill survey. Why wouldn't you? We got it running, so that's good. Just a little bit of TLC is all people need to spend on these lawnmowers and they get them back running again. They're garbage. You always remember spark fuel, Jim. That's all you need to get something running. So just make sure you got spark and fuel and you'll be golden. But hopefully I got a video here for you. If not, then it is what it is. And hopefully everybody's having a good day, like me. But I'm gonna clean up this mess over here, finish tidying up, sit down, relax, and rest myself. So have a good day, love y'all. And you know what to do for now.